call to order. Welcome everybody. This is a notice of the first meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council. And our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read us the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. I hope our achievements in life shall be these, that we will have fought for what was right and fair, that we will have risked for that which mattered, that we will have given help to those who are in need, that we will have left the earth a better place for what we've done and who we've been. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Belt. Here. Foran. Here. Carlson. Here. Decker. Here. Hammond. Here. Hannah. Here. Heidemann. Here. Koth. Here. Kittleson. Here. Matichek. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Raisler. Here. Samson. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Wait a minute. Van Akron. <laughs> and Versi. Here. 16 present. <laughs> We have a quorum. If we can all please rise for the presentation of the colors. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to thank our police department color guard for presenting the colors this evening. Uh, now we have the invocation. I have chosen the Reverend Jerry Link, uh, the leader of the, the River of Life Ministry, who has been very instrumental in the uh, Gateway neighborhood in uh, uh, getting the Gateway Neighborhood Association off the ground. Jerry is also uh, the uh, leader of the uh, new community center in the Gateway neighborhood. So this is why we have Jerry here. He's a, uh, an integral part of our community. Reverend Link. Everybody bow your head, please. Lord, we come before you tonight. And according to your word, your word says, enter my gates with thanksgiving and my courts with praise. 
And the word says, humbly we bow down, but yet boldly we enter in. So Lord, we come before you tonight, Lord. We humble ourselves before you, Lord, for the task that you have set before us. That this is nothing of our doing, for your word says, Lord, that you raise up kingdoms and you tear down kingdoms. So Lord, this is a kingdom that you have raised up for such a time as this. So humbly we bow down before you, Lord, and we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you for this city. We say thank you for the residents. We say thank you for the leadership, Lord, that you have allowed to be in place today. Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord God, for all that you've done, all you're doing, and all you're yet to do in this awesome city that we call Sheboygan, Wisconsin. And Lord, even as the, the uh, spirit on the lake, as the city name goes, that Lord, we just call in your Holy Spirit. We call on the Holy Spirit on the lake to come forth, to come forth to be a part of the business of the city in the little things and in the big things, little decisions, big decisions. Lord, let us not forsake you in the business that we do when we go forth here tonight into this new year with this new council. Lord, I ask that you bless every council member. Lord, I ask that you bless the mayor and, and the city attorney and the clerk of courts that sit here before us right now. I ask that you, that you pour out your wisdom. Your word says that wisdom is crying out in the streets. So we say, wisdom, come to us. Come to us. We need wisdom, the godly wisdom to run this city. So we say, thank you, Lord, in faith that you will pour out your wisdom and you won't hold it back from us. Lord, I ask that you guide each and every member that whatever it is of the business that you want them to do, whatever decision you want them to do, Lord, let them come together. Your word says, come, let us reason together. So, Father, as we do your business, we come tonight before you for this year to reason together. Lord, don't forsake Sheboygan. I call forth the prophetic call that you have placed on the city of Sheboygan to usher in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit on the lake to come across, to change lives, to change lives, to help those in need, and to build up your name in this place. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Now we will move into the uh, swearing in of the city clerk elect. So I guess she's not the city clerk here for a second in between while she's sworn in. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of city clerk. Of the office of city clerk. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. campaign she ran, ran also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have uh, our swearing in of uh, another uh, elected official, our city attorney, who also uh, won by a landslide. That's right. Steve, would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, I Stephen McLean, swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Office of City Attorney. Of the Office of City Attorney. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God.
<coughs> okay, moving on, we have the swearing in of the Alder Persons Elect, which should be nine people, I believe, this time. If everybody can come up here, please. I wish it could be this much fun every night. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, we have the adoption of the rules of the Common Council. All right. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor. I would um, uh, accept and adopt the rules uh, of the Common Council. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the rules of the Common Council, or adopt the rules of the Common Council. Anybody like to discuss what those rules are? <laughs> if there is no discussion, all in favor of adopting state aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Unanimous vote right off the bat. I like this council. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we have the election of the President and Vice President of the Common Council. President Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Um, I move that uh, we will begin with the election of President of the Council. And so with that, I would move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of vote votes will be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority of the votes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Okay, we will open the floor to nominations. Do we have nominations? Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, for the Office of President, I'd like to nominate 3rd District Alderperson Jean Kittleson. We have a nomination for Alderperson Kittleson for President of the Council. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Are there any other nominations from the floor? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would like to nominate Eric Renflish as President of the Council. Second. We have, a we have a motion and a second for Eric Rinfleisch to be nominated, Alderman Rinfleisch, to President of the Council. Are there any other nominations? Thank you, Mayor. Um, I move then that the nominations be closed. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to close nominations. Do we have to go around that? All in, no? All, in favor. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, nominations are closed. We will now go to balloting. <clears throat> Alderman, when you get your ballot, it says print last name because I can't read half of your writing, so that would be really helpful. <laughs> Sorry, but I can't. Um, then you sign it, and then you put my vote is for, and you put the name on that line. 
fold it up and pass it back over this way. Sure. This will be a closed ballot, so we'll be going in back to count those. And two of them again. Steve, do you have an extra one? Another one? After you finish your ballot, if you can fold it in half and pass it back to your left. We need one more. We need one more? Yeah, I don't have one. Everybody have one ballot? One. <coughs> oh, it's the next one. Okay. Right. Thank you. That's two. Okay. <laughs> Only two? Uh, we're going to have to have a recount there right away. Yes, no, no. Who's an expert on this? Okay, we've got some free time. Anybody know any good jokes or anything? <laughs> Don usually has a cup. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not appropriate. Not appropriate for council. <laughs> I heard a good one last week. Jay Leno was going to his local Home Depot. He had a project at home to pick up some flies, and he saw two, th two Southwest Airline pilots in there buying roofing supplies. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> and then he also said that Southwest, Southwest Airlines has changed their marketing strategy. Now they're advertising all window seats. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Jim will be here for two more shows. <laughs> That's good. Please Jim. tip your waiter. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Any, do we have any so we know he keeps them clean. That's good, any Jim. legal disclaimers attached to those jokes? <laughs> yes, sir. I can by naming rights for our conference center now. <laughs> must be close. Want to give that speech you gave last night? <laughs> Either that or somebody didn't turn that ballot back in, they can't find them all. Anymore. 18, 18 of them. Okay, we do have a majority ballot for our new 2010-2011 Common Council President. Congratulations, President Rindfleisch. You have to understand that's the last standing ovation you'll ever get. So. <laughs> okay, moving on to the election of the vice president. The election of, the of vice president, Mayor. Thank you. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by closed ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate, again with the lowest number of votes, will be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority of the votes. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to open nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nominations are open. Are there any nominations from the floor for the Vice President of the Council? Alderman Bourne? 
Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I would like to nominate uh, Alderman Scott Versey of the First District for the Office of Vice President of the Council. Second. We have a motion and a second for Alderman Versey to be Vice President of the Council. Are there any other nominations on the floor? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to nominate uh, Alderman Decker for Vice President. Second. second. We have a motion and a couple seconds for Alderman Decker for Vice President of the Council. Are there any other nominations from the floor? If there are no other nominations. Thank you, Mayor. I move then that the nominations be closed. Second. Motion and a second to close nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nominations are closed. Same balloting procedure. firm you got there. <laughs> Last term, huh, Steve? <laughs> got to that law degree. Going back to the Dewey Cheatham and Howe. Yes. Okay, Jim, have you thought any more? That's it. Oh, okay. Hit <laughs> strokes. The mic's open. It's like amateur open night. Mic night. <laughs> <laughs> fall from the tree, doesn't it? Depends on when she's hearing it from you. So. Okay, we have a majority vote for the Vice President of the 2010-2011 Sheboygan Common Council. Congratulations, Vice President Decker. By the way, 
it's the 2011-2012 council district. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Short term. That's why you're the attorney. Got to keep it straight here. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have the uh, election of a representative on the City Plan Commission. The election of the representative on the Board of Contractor ex Examiners and two representatives on the Capital Improvements Commission. We will begin with the City Plan Commission. Thank you, Mayor. As you said, we'll have election first of the City Plan Commission. I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of vo votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one <coughs> candidate receives a majority. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second to open the floor for nominations. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Floor is open for nominations. Do we have any nominations from the floor? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I nominate uh, Alderman Sampson for City Planning Commission. Second. We have a motion and a second for Alderman Sampson to be the Alderman on City, the City Plan Commission. Are there any other nominations from the floor? Are there any other nominations from the floor? And for the third time, are there any other nominations from the floor? Jean? Thank you, Mayor. I move that uh, nominations be closed and that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for Alderman Sampson for City Plan Commission. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second to unanimously elect Alderman Sampson. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Let me know your secret, Kevin. You had no opponent for alderman, no opponent for city planning. <laughs> a role. Always running a clean campaign. Okay. Congratulations, Alderman Sampson. Thank you. Next, we will move on to the Board of Contractors Examiners. Jean. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, again, nominations be I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Second. We have a motion and a second to open the floor for nominations for the representative on the Board of Contractors and Examiners. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The floor is now open for nominations. Do we have any nominations? I'll do it again. <laughs> you know, you can, you know, you don't have to have this set up. You can just nominate somebody that, you know, if you don't like somebody, you want to keep it busy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's one way to keep people busy is you put them on a whole bunch of stuff. So. Alderman Raisler. Well, as, as long as you said that, Mr. Mayor, um, I'll uh, nominate uh, Eric Reinflesch. Second. We Somebody have a motion a and a second uh, for, <laughs> for President Rinfleisch to be on the, on the uh, Board of Contractors Examiners. Do we have any other nominations from the floor? Second time, any nominations from the floor? And third time, any additional nominations from the floor? Jean? Thank you, Mayor. I move that nominations be closed and that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for President Eric Grinfleisch for a representative on the Board of Contract Examiners. Second. I don't know if you can second yourself. Second, second. There we go. Plenty of seconds. Okay, all in favor of President Rinfleisch being on the Contractors Board of Ex the Board of Contractors Examiners. Say aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Sit President. Down. Sit down. Two standing ovations in one night. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, we have the uh, two representatives for the Capital Improvements Commission. Thank you, Mayor. Again, I move that nominations be received from the floor 
voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority vote. Second. We have a motion and a second to open the floor for nominations. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> the floor is open. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I'll try again. I'm going to nominate uh, Alderman Scott Versi of the 1st District to the Capital Improvements Commission. Second. second. We have a motion and a second for Alderman Versi. Uh, we do have... Um, can we do two at once? Yes. Yes, we do have two positions here. Do we have any other nominations from the floor? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, in my love fest with Alderman Sampson, I'll nominate him for Capital Improvements Commission. Second. <laughs> okay, let's try to get Kevin an opponent here. Is there any other nominations from the floor? Come on. Anybody. Anybody. <laughs> we'll try this again. Are there any other nominations from the floor? And for a third time, are there any other nominations from the floor? Thank you, Mayor. I move that nominations be closed and that the city clerk be instructed to cast a, well, a unanimous ballot for Alderman Versi and Alderman Sampson for, for our, both of our rep, as both our representatives on the Capital Improvements Commission. Second. Motion and a second. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. All in favor of... Alderman Versi and Alderman Sampson being on the Capital, uh, Capital Improvements Commission, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Congratulations, Alderman. Thank you. Okay, now we will move into the uh, election of the Chairman of the Committee of the Whole. I get a break right here because this uh, Committee of the Whole is none of my business. So um, let me know when you're finished. All right. Um, we'd ask for nominations to be received from the floor. Voting, voting to be done by closed ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and balloting to continue until one candidate receives a majority of the votes. We'd ask for a nomination from the floor for chairman of the committee of the whole. Alderman I'd Mercy. like to uh, nominate Alderman Jim Bourne, Chairman of the Whole. Second. <laughs> and that goes along with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a, a, a nomination for Alderman Bourne and a second. Uh, any, uh, any other nominations from the floor? Thank you, you Chairman. All right, President. Amen. I'd like to nominate uh, Alderman Hanna for okay. chair, Chairman of the Whole. There's a, a, a nomination for Alderman Hanna. Second. And a second for Alderman Hanna. Okay, are there any other nominations from the floor? Any other nominations? Any other nominations from the floor? All right, I'd ask that nominations be closed and that we, by secret ballot, <laughs> close ballot, that we uh, choose our, uh, uh, elect our Committee of the Whole Chairman. Second. 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 All, all in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. We will pass out the ballots.
driving it for a few days. Convene now? Yep. We can reconvene in two. You might want to get the mayor. <laughs> Congratulations, Alderman Hanna. Oh, do I have to announce that? Yes, you do. That? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. I figured you guys would have already announced this. No. Nope. You just did. The committee of the whole chairman <laughs> is Alderman Hanna. <laughs> for the anticlimactic announcement there. <laughs> and I'm glad to report that all three of us are intact. So. Okay, um, time for the messages from our newly elected officials. 
Uh, first, the president of the 2011-2012 Common Council, President Rinfleisch. Good evening. Good evening, Madam City Clerk Richards, City Attorney McLean, Mayor Ryan, my wife and child, who you've been hearing all evening. As Don said, the apple did not fall far from the tree with her. Um, welcome all uh, newly elected and um, uh, second year older persons, and uh, good evening to all, to all citizens of Sheboygan. Uh, welcome to the 2011-2012 council year. May it be a good one. First of all, I want to thank my fellow council members for their faith that they have shown in me by electing me the president for this term. Uh, I pledge to you to work with all of you in reaching our individual goals. Uh, we do all have individual constituencies. Some of us have made campaign promises. Some of us are driven in particular areas. And I pledge to work with you uh, in being, becoming successful. I also pledge to find common ground so that not only as individuals, but as a council and as a community, we can move forward. We can move forward together. Furthermore, I pledge to be a conduit information, not only amongst each other within this council, uh, but also to the public, and most importantly, between the council and the mayor's office. We will not all agree on all issues, but together we will succeed this year. This is my goal, is to move the city of Sheboygan forward. We heard last night from, yes, uh, from the mayor uh, about last year's council success. And I'm sure we will hear shortly about the goals for this year, so I don't want to intrude on, on that. Uh, and of course, each one of us do here have individual goals as well. So my message not tonight is not necessarily to discuss where we've been, or even to, to state where we're going to go. And that's up to us as a body but rather to show how we're going to get there. I am pleased in my giving service to my community to be associated with the Common Council, a body that I feel most directly represents what our constitutional framers designed when they formed our Constitution. No parties, um, individuals elected to represent their constituents, uh, just as our framers designed. A true representative democracy. However, Sometimes we expect, uh, and by mean we, I mean not only the public, but ourselves as this body, um, that upon swearing in that we have gained the knowledge to do what exactly is right, and we have gained public virtue to know what, what is in the best interest for the whole public. However, as we stood up here earlier this evening, those nine of us that took the oath of office, I looked up, I did not see two rays of light coming down from the heavens above, granting us the knowledge of what is right and of public virtue. However, our constitutional framers uh, were geniuses in my mind. They gave us a, a, an amazing gift, the US Constitution. And the best part about this gift is that we don't have to be perfect. We don't have to know everything. We don't necessarily even have to have the public virtue in the best of mind. They designed a form of government that uses our personal interests, our group interests, to form ahead and move ahead in this government. They designed a system of checks and balances. They designed separation of powers, which allows us to use our self-interest to create public virtue. It sounds boring, I do apologize. I did study this for a whole year, and this is something I'm shortening up a, a lecture into just a few minutes here. Um, but unfortunately, the system of checks and balances, separation of powers, also leads to slow, <coughs> complicated, messy government. I'm sure we've all heard those terms. We've used those terms. And it forces compromise. It forces incremental changes. Changes sometimes a whole lot slower in the wrong direction than we'd like individuals to go. But our framers feared two things. Not only did they fear the tyranny of the majority, they also feared the tyranny of the minority, the minority to hold up what's in the best interest. So there are things about our, our system of government that are frustrating, but they are also necessary. So as we sit here to, and as we move forward together, keep in mind that what makes it frustrating is also designed into the system. The framers did not use phrases like public opinion, elected mandates, majority rules. 
Again and again, they use compromise to form what I feel is the best form of governance <laughs> as enacted by the U.S. Constitution. And again and again, they use compromise in the building of this nation after the Constitution was formed. Now, no one here wants to go backwards. I know that. But we all have different views of what forward means. So unfortunately, it is through compromise, it is through negotiations, it is through communication that we will ultimately define what forward is. I don't know who the person was who first decided that our, our state motto should be that word, forward, but I think it's also a genius phrase as well. Where if we stand still, we're going backwards. We must continually strive to move forward. <coughs> But at times, moving forward will be messy and complicated and frustrating. But I pledge to you that I will work with you so that we can reach compromise and consensus and that we can communicate with each and every one, uh, not only within this body, but within the, the community, and that we will move forward together in this year. So again, I thank you for your support. I thank you for taking the chance, and I look forward to working with all of you this year. Thank you. Now, committee of the whole chairman, Alderman Hanna will speak. A collective sigh of relief. I have no notes. <laughs> um, beginning my sixth year on the council, I want to thank you all for your support. I uh, had an opportunity to serve twice as council president, and I think Eric is going to do a, a marvelous job. Um, always wanted to be the committee of the whole chairperson. I think this year is going to be a challenging one. Uh, we've got the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee going to be coming forward with the help of University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. Uh, so I think we're going to have some very meaningful meetings and, and some very important discussions. Uh, as many of you know, uh, this is going to be my last year on the council. Uh, so I, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to, to serve an important role uh, as I end my council career. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on, it says the mayor's message. No longer known as the time of pontification. Bring it back. <laughs> um, welcome, everybody, to the 2011-2012 Common Council. Um, we have... Uh, Four new aldermen on the Common Council, and um, which is uh, one fourth of the of the of the council. With the new aldermen on the council, um, just doing some math here. It took me a while to figure this out, but uh, with the age difference of the four aldermen that exited the council and the four coming on, we have lost. 125 years of wisdom. <laughs> Do the math. 120. Fred, you kind of throw off the curve a little bit. There, <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> but we've, literally, we've lost 125 years of wisdom. We've lost some 25 years of time on the council, of knowledge of how the council works that has exited the council. But I think what we've gained um, with these four new aldermen is going to be a fresh new perspective. I think it's going to be a new approach. I think our chances of finding consensus on this council are much greater this year than we've possibly had in the past. A couple messages I'd like to get across, and I, I did last evening uh, kind of give the ura speech of everything that we accomplished last year, which is quite a bit. I saw Alderman Carlson smiling at the URA comment, it never dies. Um, well, I think we all have to remember that every individual alderman here is elected by their constituents. Now, every aldermanic district consists of somewhere around 6,600 residents. So you have, in every aldermanic district, every one of you have 6,100 constituents 
uh, that you are responsible for representing. I think we all need to remember that because I think we have a tendency, and when I was on the council I was guilty of this also, of listening to a very vocal minority and getting too bogged down in the minutia of what a couple or a few people want and, and, and missing the big picture. So I think we need to, you know, when, when you get a call, and if you get a call from three people opposed to something, um, you still have over 6,000 out there that haven't voiced their opinion. Or if you have three people that really want something, you still have 6,000 people in your district that haven't voiced their opinion. I think we need to remember that. You know, we're here to re represent the majority of the population. Majority vote, majority rules. We're here to, to represent the majority of the population and not just the vocal minority in our population. That's one thing I would really like to get across this year. We have to remember this year, and it's going to be a tough one. Um, the budget is not going to be a uh, picnic this year, as we all know. It's going to be more challenging this year than last year. As we know, we have seven, all of our Labor contracts um, are up to be renewed this year. We also must remember that we have been given, we have been empowered by the state, by Governor Walker and his administration um, to probably have more negotiating power. But what we must really remember in this city is that we're in the service business. That's what we do. We're here to service the citizens of our city. We have to remember when we sit down and we negotiate with our friends in labor and when we come up with contracts that we're dealing with the employees of the city and that when these negotiations are finished, we want a workforce that still wants to come to work. We don't need to spout rhetoric and demoralize the employees of the city. We have a lot of hardworking people. We have to remember that they are there to serve the citizens of Sheboygan. Now we also must remember that we are losing another $1.4 million in our shared revenue and other aids. Not to mention the $1.2 million structural deficit we're coming into this year. So we have to balance the two and we have to come to some agreements. But we need to do it in a conscientious manner and remember that um, we have employees and when we're done with the process, we still want to be an employer of choice for people. We want people, our employees, that want to come to work. So we have to remember that through this whole process this year. It will be a balancing act but when we're um, speaking to the media, when you're speaking to your friends, remember that when we're done, we're going to have to balance the budget, but we also want people that enjoy what they do and that want to come to work. One thing that we did uh, happen, and it, you know, it wasn't uh, conscious, I don't think, it just kind of evolved that way, in the last half of this past council season is we got a lot of work done. And we got that work done quietly. Um, it, was, it was, you know, we, we accomplished a lot and we, we didn't do it in a manner that, that was, uh, um, oh, what word am I looking for here? People weren't in conflict the whole time. It wasn't chaos. Everybody wasn't looking over their shoulder wondering what's going on the whole time. We got a lot done. I've also noticed that in the last X amount of months, our partners in the media, and they are partners, because the media drives a lot of what happens in this city. Our partners in the media have been much more favorable to the decisions of the Common Council. And the image that has been portrayed of Sheboygan in the media has been much more positive. And I think we need to appreciate that and 
and hopefully keep that trend going. You know, we want to be a, a city where people want to come to. We'd like to be the city that people want to live in. We don't want people that are saying, uh, I, I, well, I want to sell my house and move out to the towns, out to the township. We want people living in our city. That's the only way we're going to survive. We need people with means to live in the city, to build homes, to build apartments, live in condos, build businesses, create jobs. Our number one focus last year, I think, that we um, are heading toward is creating jobs in the city. Without jobs, we don't survive. And I think we did a good job of laying the groundwork last year. With jobs come people. With people come construction. With construction comes tax base. Unfortunately, that's the way we're funded is through tax base. So we need to keep that trend going. We want to be a city of choice. We want to be a city that people not only like to visit, but people want to come to and stay. And I think that is, again, should be our re number one responsibility this year is to keep moving forward. I appreciate everybody on this council. I think, uh, I think we're going to have a good working group here. Of course, as President Rindfleisch stated, no, everybody's not gonna, going to get along on every issue. But I think if we make our decisions on this council based upon the 50,000 residents of the city and the long-term well-being of those residents, I think we'll come to a lot more uh, consensus on this council if we keep that one thing in mind. This is a great city. It's a wonderful city. That's why we live here. And this is America. We can live wherever we want. Um, I've chosen to live here, and so has everybody else in this room. So I think we need to keep working, be honest with each other. It's one thing I've always said. People might not agree with me, but there's nobody in this room that will ever say I lied to them. If I don't support something, I'll tell you. If I tell you I support it, I support it. If I tell you I don't, I won't. I think if we're all honest with each other in that manner, you know, some people call it politics when you tell people one thing and you do another thing. I've never considered it that. And I think if we all come together, look at each other and just say, I'm gonna be honest with the guy next to me, and we try to get something done for the good of the city, I think that when we're sitting right here again next year, we're going to be that much farther ahead. Thank you. Okay, moving on to the mayor's appointments. Um, first of all, uh, the aldermen, everybody has the packets on, on the appointments. We will uh, uh, not approve these until next week. They will lie over until next week. If anybody sees in your appointments, I put these out early for, for everybody to review. Um, if there's something in your appointments that you don't like, um, please let me know. If there's something that doesn't work into your work schedule, home schedule, please let me know. Uh, if there's something that you want to get together with another alderman and say I'd rather be on this, if you'd be on that, of course, I would need to agree with it, but please let me know. Now these appointments are my wishes. Uh, you do not have to approve them if you do not want to, um, but it's, a, uh, it's one of those issues where it's all or nothing, so. Okay, appointments. Steve? To the honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your confirmation. Finance Committee, Alderman Hammond, Chairman, Eric Rinfleisch, Vice Chairman, Warren, Matichek, and Van Akron. Law and Licensing Committee, Alderman Hammond, Chairman, uh, excuse me, Alderman Hannah, Chairman. <laughs> Alderperson Vanderweel, Vice Chairman. Rinfleisch, Koth, and Versi. Public Protection and Safety Committee, Alderperson Kittleson, Chairman. Alderman Decker, Vice Chairman. Sampson, Carlson, and Van Akron. Public Works Committee, Alderperson Boren, Chairman. 
Alderperson Heideman, Vice Chairman, Vanderweel, Kath, and Belt. Salaries and Grievances Committee, Alderperson Raisler, Chairman, Alderperson Versi, Vice Chairman, Kittleson, Decker, and Sampson. Signed by the Mayor. And then that lies over until next Monday's council meeting. Hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. Marilyn Montemayor to be considered for appointment to the Library Board to fill the unexpired term of Edward Wachowski, whose term expires 4-30-2012. And Brian Vandosky to be considered for appointment to the Sheboygan Transit Commission to fill the unexpired term of Richard Hires, whose term expires 4-30-2013, signed by the Mayor. Lies over also. Mm -hmm. And then... I believe all the aldermen have on their desks a listing of the appointments to the various boards, commissions, committees, uh, authorities of the council, numbering seven pages. And these are all submitted by the mayor. And those will also lie over until the next common council meeting. Okay, we do have a couple of resolutions this evening. This is when I need my glasses. Resolutions introduced three. One dash one by Alderperson Kittleson requesting the mayor to reactivate various special committees for the 2011-2012 council year. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. <clears throat> I would ask that, uh, that the uh, resolution Requesting the mayor to reactivate various special committees be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. If there is no discussion, all in favor state aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 1-2 will be referred to the Committee of the Whole. And that's all for this evening. Thank you very much. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>